Hello, this is the iFly series vamp ornithopter and uh, I bought this cheaply at a car boot sale on the basis that the unit would not charge or take a charge. On examination I found that the battery inside um, was actually very flat indeed, it couldn't uh, be charged, it looked like it was open circuit. I uh, managed to cut open the body to get to the battery and the circuitry inside and it is quite a sophisticated arrangement but by cutting the body back uh, and pulling it up I could actually get to the battery, the little LiPol battery in there which is 3.7 volts, 50 milliamp hour. Um, with that out I managed to um, charge it on a separate charger. Now the battery connections are red and black there in the uh, bottom corner of the circuit and I'm hoping that uh, I can uh, reinstate the battery and get it going. Well after uh, removing the battery and trying to charge it on a separate charger um, it did seem like it was charging but uh, effectively when uh, it was tried it lasted about a second and went flat so I got another battery from uh, China via eBay just over two pounds and uh, just installed it. The downside of ordering these batteries from China is that the time scale of uh, postage is around 20 days so uh, if you don't mind waiting you can get them very cheaply um, so that's now installed it's just a little bit physically a little bit smaller than the last one and in fact um, gives about 10 milliamps more so 60 60 milliamp hour lipole battery and it's now installed very difficult to see here in this video but it's actually at the top of the PCB there just above the chip you can see to the to the left there in the middle and it's just wired at the front here um, that's now installed and uh, I've cut this foam back to get to it it can be glued back if I turn the, uh, the bird on basically it does actually uh, now work fine and um, pairs up with the remote control and uh, all's back to normal so it is worth having a go with these things if you find that uh, you can't get it to uh, take a charge then uh, really the battery is the first suspect change the battery and you should be able to get some more life out of it this one's about nine years old now so um, it's not surprising that it's actually given up the ghost uh, but as I say for a couple of quid and a bit of work um, the worst thing is the um, the soldering is quite tricky to get in there um, but uh, if you've got the right kind of soldering iron then uh, you can actually do it. Good luck.